Welcome to tonight's episode of Beyond Focus TV. I'm your host, Lydia Patel. And as always, I have a very special guest for you. I actually have three guests in studio representing HANA, the Haitian American Nurses Association. They'll be with us for the next 30 minutes. So stay with us. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Beyond Focus TV allows you to discuss contemporary topics affecting the Caribbean people on both a national and local level. The show features informed guests who offer insight, debate, and evaluate various issues. Beyond Focus TV builds on the station's mission to provide useful information to the Caribbean people in New York and abroad. Beyond Focus TV, where our viewing audience can get educated, informed, and empowered. Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel, sitting here with Marie Hippolyte, who's actually the president of HANA, the Haitian American Nurses Association. And I have Michelle saint who's the secretary of the association as well. So ladies, welcome to Beyond Focus TV. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's great to have you here because Haitian American nurses are very well represented, not only in Brooklyn, but throughout the the entire city of New York, yes. a large population of Haitian nurses, did my homework on it, and they're very well represented. So that's a good thing. But a lot of people may not know that Hannah even exists. So that's why we're going to have you all here tonight mm -hmm. to give us a little bit of groundbreaking information about what Hannah is, how you got started. So Maria, as the president, why don't you tell us about how this all got started? I'm going to defer to Michelle. Sure. And Michelle will <laughs> give you the background. Because Absolutely. She's one of the founding members of Lovely. Hannah. And she can give you the details of how it started. Well, you wanted me to find out, ask you then, how we got started. I, I saw a need some years ago, back in 2008, mm -hmm. um, for a Haitian American Nurses, Haitian Nurses Association. Um, there was a Filipino American Nurses Association. There was a Chinese, but I was unable to find a, a Haitian um, mm -hmm. organization for nurses. So uh, I did my research. And I realized that they, uh, there was uh, uh, a, uh, an organization in Florida. So I had the liberty then to go down there and meet the, the members in Florida, in mm -hmm. Miami. They have been in existence actually since 1984. Really? Mm -hmm. So it'd be, they're celebrating 31 years yes. of, um, in, of, of in existence. Um, Greater New York then was established soon after the earthquake of Haiti that devastated our country. Absolutely. And um, so a lot of nurses mobilized, we came together and saw a need then to formulate um, the ha Haitian American nurses of Greater New York. That is great. So since 2008, basically, you've been in existence. And but it wasn't originally, it was formally established in 2010. Right. So a good five years that you've been. Marie, as president, I know it's a recent role the last couple of years. Why don't you tell us about your role? My role as the president is really to oversee the organization, um, the day-to-day -day activities of the organization, making sure that we abide by most of our existing bylaws that we formulated for the organization, and to propel the organization forward to achieve its mission and its vision. And that's great because a lot of times these type of organizations lack organization, <laughs> if you understand. So this time there's a real structure. You have a president, you have a secretary, you have a treasurer, mm -hmm. um, which is how it's supposed to be. Right. Um, what are some of the day-to-day -day things um, to keep something like this going? Because um, in a little bit we'll go into how many members you have. But let everyone at home really know what this all entails. It's constant communication. Um, as secretary, I'm always on email. Uh, making sure that members are informed of what's going on within the community with other organizations. Um, we often, t we are, um, a we are partnering with other, other organizations within the community mm -hmm. as well. That's great. And Marie, when you're overseeing this type of work, mm -hmm. how do you feel as president um, that you were elected to actually get to do this role? Well, I'm very proud of the role. I, I I love the role. It is something that um, I, I take on full responsibility for. It is a challenge at times because mm -hmm. you deal with um, people, you deal with personalities, and you want to drive people to get them to, to do what's needed, and sometimes that could be a challenge. But it is a role that um, I gladly accept. And I'm honored that the members had enough confidence in me 
to see that I could lead the organization. So I cannot let them down. Of I course. must always put my best foot forward and to always think about any decision that needs to be made. It must be done with everybody in mind and for the benefit of the organization. Absolutely. That's very, very well said. Why don't we talk about how many members are currently in HANA? We currently have 25. Mm -hmm. um, it's relatively small, but we are growing. Um, every other week, I would say, um, people are um, asking then how then they can become a member of HANA. Great. And what are some of the benefits, Marie, that you've decided to have? Because all organizations, of course, you offer something to your members to come, for coming on board and being a part of it. What is one of the main benefits of being a part of the Haitian American Nurses Association? Uh, I would say the major benefit is the reward that you get out of it. Uh, we're not offering money because it's strictly volunteerism. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not offering you any um, uh, monies or high posts in any in any um, government or anything <coughs> like that but it is definitely rewarding to see the work that you can do how you impact the lives of other nurses how you impact your community how you impact the student nurses that we deal with so uh, it is very rewarding in that sense now you talked about the student nurses. Why don't we elaborate on that? Because we have a lot of young nurses who are up and coming. Nursing programs yes. are, are filling up on a high right now. If you actually check, there's more and more people getting enrolled in nursing. So the field definitely isn't dying out. There was one point where it was hard to get yeah. nurses. People mm -hmm. didn't want to be a nurse. And that's because of the state and little issues within that. Mm -hmm. um, but how do you feel that there's so many people who want to come on board and you're able to facilitate them? Well, it's great because nursing, again, has been voted as the most trusting profession yeah. uh, uh, to go into. So it is very good and it's very promising to see young people who want to be nurses because they have a call to become a nurse. It's not just really a profession. You're going in there and you're going to make money and you, you have to have the calling. Um, if you don't have the calling, you won't last in nursing. You'll be burnt out. So uh, we are happy that we can facilitate students by giving them uh, the opportunity to apply for our yearly scholarship. We raise funds and we give yearly scholarships to students in the greater New York area from accredited schools. <laughs> and then we also uh, uh, provide scholarships to the National Nursing School in Haiti, in Port-au-Prince, to the students there. That is great. I'm actually going to let Michelle, as secretary, you, I'm sure you have a lot of writing and formal things that you have to do. So let's talk about how you guys actually get um, nurses in Haiti, nursing students. And especially if they're in Haiti, they're in Port-au-Prince, of course, with everything that's going on, it's hard enough to live day to day. And if they're trying to further their education, mm -hmm. this little bit of funding can actually mean a lot. Um, why don't you elaborate on that? Absolutely. As um, Madam President has, uh, has stated, we actually have a partnership with the National School of Haiti. And some of our members are um, alumni, nursing students of the, of, of the university. And uh, so we, we saw a need. I mean, there are many, there's several accredited schools in Haiti. But we wanted to target the public school. And, um, and we, um, we, we have a close ties with them. We, um, the students are very appreciative of, of the money that they receive. And um, they continue. They're, they're very happy. Very, very happy. good. Very good. Well, hold that thought. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Stay with us.
Hi, my name is Stephanie Miles, and I am Miss Caribbean United States 2013, and you're watching Beyond Focus TV. Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel, sitting here with the president of HANA and the secretary of HANA. And if you're not familiar, HANA stands for the Haitian American Nurses Association. So if any of you at home are thinking of becoming a nurse, you may be a nurse or have a friend or relative in the nursing field, they may want to get involved. And at the end of the program, we'll have the contact information of how they can get involved, right? Mm -hmm. And join HANA. Because it's really important. They have a, a many big things that are going on, and we want to grow them here in the community. So be on focus, pay attention, because we want to get you guys involved. So let's talk about some of the board members. Of course, this is a, a real organization, like we were saying. Let's talk about some of the board members. Okay. Well, we have a uh, president, myself, Vice President Kitli Nima Lispinas. She's the vice president. We have Secretary uh, Michelle Centillier. Ms. Solange Piard, which is the treasurer. And we have an assistant uh, secretary to help Michelle out <laughs> with so many, <laughs> so many duties that Michelle has. Mm -hmm. And that is, uh, 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 she just, I just blanked out her first name. Stephanie, Stephanie I'm sorry. Stephanie Augustin. And we have an assistant treasurer, Immacula Sampson. Okay. So uh, the that is the member, those are the members of the board. And where are you guys based out of currently, like your main location? Um, is it in Brooklyn? Is it in the city? Our main location is in Queens. Okay. We were fortunate enough. Um, in fact, uh, Madam Treasurer went to the chief nursing officer and asked her for space because we were meeting in libraries, people's homes. Mm -hmm. We didn't have really a, a, a venue. So we were fortunate enough that uh, Queens Hospital Center gave us their conference room. Wow. So we meet there monthly, mm -hmm. and it's in, located in Queens. But That's we're good. We're from all over. Some of us are from Brooklyn, and we drive up there, and we meet to do the work of the organization. So once a month, because, again, Len, let's give them a shout-out for actually giving the space. That's yes. always nice when yes. people donate yes. space. So thank you so much for that. Um, this allows you to meet monthly. And during that time, give everyone a breakdown of what would take place on these monthly meetings. Um, <laughs> Madness, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> there is structure. And that we try to maintain. Um, we, with it, we sit in a round table of professionals, and there's students sometimes mm -hmm. with us. Um, we go over the um, the needs of the, of the of the organization of HANA. What needs to be done? How can we become visible um, within uh, our association? Mm -hmm. um, we um, also we discuss um, upcoming events. We discuss um, best what best practices. Mm -hmm. at some points. Um, it's a myriad In of different addition, things. In addition, we have our sorry, Michelle. We have committees. Mm -hmm. So the, the committees, at that meeting, they will discuss what they've done for the month. So the committees will report what has happened within their committee and what is going to happen or what are they working on. So uh, it's, like Michelle said, it is structured a little bit. That's Because we good. would never finish. <laughs> <laughs> There wouldn't be an end to it. They definitely would not be an end. Um, let's talk a little bit about disaster relief. Mm -hmm. You're still working on that. Um, of course, you know, it's going to be, a, a. I look at it as almost like a never-ending project. That's one of those mm -hmm. ongoing because future disasters, of course, could always come up. And there's relief also within New York itself that mm -hmm. you also do. You provide help with that. Why don't you tell us about that? Well, um, when we first mobilized, we, um, Han was very, very instrumental in um, um, participating in the a lot of the medical missions um, abroad. Some who were unable then to um, go to Haiti, travel to Haiti, mm -hmm. they, um, they, 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 um, they, so they put together supplies that was needed. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you want to talk a yeah. little more. Currently, we're not doing uh, mission trips. We are mostly working with education. Very good. That's our focus. Um, it's no longer a humanitarian relief. As many of you may know, uh, there's a lot of NGOs in Haiti. And um, I, I personally, that's not my goal. Mm 